The Karamanids or Karamanid dynasty modern Turkish, Karamanogalari, Karamanogalari Beyliji, also known as the Principality of Karaman and Beylik of Karaman, Karaman Beyliji, was one of the Islamic Anatolian Beyliks, centered in south-central Anatolia around the present-day Karaman province. From the 13th century until its fall in 1487, the Karamanid dynasty was one of the most powerful Turkish Beyliks in Anatolia. History The Karamanids traced their ancestry from Hoja Sa'd al-Din and his son Nur Sufi Bey, who emigrated from Aran roughly encompassing modern-day Azerbaijan to Shivas because of the Mongol invasion in 1230. The Karamanids were members of the Salur tribe of Oghuz Turks. According to Musan Yazıçoğlu and others, they were members of the Afshar tribe, which participated in the revolt led by Baba Ishaq and afterwards moved to the western Taurus Mountains, near the town of Laronde, where they came to serve the Seljuks. Nur Sufi worked there as a woodcutter. His son, Karameddin Karaman Bey, gained a tenuous control over the mountainous parts of Cilicia in the middle of the 13th century. A persistent but spurious legend, however, claims that the Seljuk Sultan of Rum, Kaykwabad I, instead established a Karamanid dynasty in these lands. Karaman Bey expanded his territories by capturing castles in Ermanik, Mut, Aragli, Gulnar, and Salifka. The year of the conquests is reported as 1225, during the reign of Allah al Din Kaykub I, which seems excessively early. Karaman Bey's conquests were mainly at the expense of the Kingdom of Lesser Armenia and perhaps at the expense of Rukan al-Din Kilij Arslan IV, 1248–1265, in any case it is certain that he fought against the Kingdom of Lesser Armenia and probably even died in this fight to such extent that King Hethum I had to place himself voluntarily under the sovereignty of the Great Khan, in order to protect his kingdom from Mamluks and Seljuks 1244. The rivalry between Kilij Arslan IV and Is al-Din Kaykayas II allowed the tribes in the border areas to live virtually independently. Karaman Bey helped Kaykas, but Arslan had the support of both the Mongols and Purvain Suleiman Mu'an al-Din who had the real power in the Sultanate. The Mongolian governor and general Baiju was dismissed from office in 1256 because he had failed to conquer new territories, but he continued to serve as a general and appeared, the same year, fighting the Sultan of Rum, who had not paid the tax, and he managed to defeat the Sultan a second time. Rukan al-Din Kili Dj Arslan IV got rid of almost all hostile begs and emirs except Karaman Bey, to whom he gave the town of Laronde now Karaman, in honor of the dynasty and Ermanik c. 1260 in order to win him to his side. In the meantime, Bunces, brother of Karaman Bey, was chosen as a Kandar, or bodyguard, for Kilij Arslan IV. Their power rose as a result of the unification of Turkish clans that lived in the mountainous regions of Cilicia with the new Turkish population transferred there by Kaykwabad. Good relations between the Seljuks and the Karamanids did not last. In 1261, on the pretext of supporting Kaykayas II, who had fled to Constantinople as a result of the intrigues of the Chancellor Mu'an al-Din Suleyman, the Purvain, Karaman Bey and his two brothers, Zenil Haq and Bunces, marched toward Konya, the Seljuk capital, with 20,000 men. A combined Seljuk and Mongol army, led by the Purvain, defeated the Karamanid army and captured Karaman Bey's two brothers. After Karaman Bey died in 1262, his older son, Mehmet I of Karaman, became the head of the house. He immediately negotiated alliances with other Turkmen clans to raise an army against the Seljuks and Ilkhanids. During the 1276 revolt of Hatirolu Semsuddin Bey against Mongol domination in Anatolia, Karamanids also defeated several Mongol Seljuk armies. In the Battle of Goksu in 1277 in particular, the central power of the Seljuk was dealt a severe blow. Taking advantage of the general confusion, Mehmed Bey captured Konya on 12 May and placed on the throne a pretender called Jimri, who claimed to be the son of Kaykayas. In the end, however, Mehmed was defeated by Seljuk and Mongol forces and executed with some of his brothers in 1278. Despite these blows, the Karamanids continued to increase their power and influence, largely aided by the Mamluks of Egypt, especially during the reign of Baybars. Karamanids captured Konya on two more occasions in the beginning of the 14th century, but were driven out the first time by Amir Chupan, the Ilkhanid governor of Anatolia, and the second time by Chupan's son and successor Timurtash. An expansion of Karamanolu power occurred after the fall of the Ilkhanids. 
A second expansion coincided with Karamanolu Aladin Ali Bey's marriage to Nefi Sultan, the daughter of the Ottoman Sultan Murat I, the first important contact between the two dynasties. As Ottoman power expanded into the Balkans, Aliadine Ali Bey captured the city of Beyshahir, which had been an Ottoman city. However, it did not take much time for the Ottomans to react and march on Konya, the Karamanolu capital city. A treaty between the two kingdoms was formed, and peace existed until the reign of Bayezid I. Timur gave control of the Karamanid lands to Mehmet Bey, the oldest son of Aliadine Ali Bey. After Bayezid I died in 1403, the Ottoman Empire went into a political crisis as the Ottoman family fell prey to internecine strife. It was an opportunity not only for Karamanids but also for all of the Anatolian Beyliks. Mehmet Bey assembled an army to march on Bursa. He captured the city and damaged it, this would not be the last Karamanid invasion of Ottoman lands. However, Mehmet Bey was captured by Bayezid Pasha and sent to prison. He apologized for what he had done and was forgiven by the Ottoman ruler. Ramazanolu Ali Bey captured Tarsus while Mehmet Bey was in prison. Mustafa Bey, son of Mehmet Bey, retook the city during a conflict between the emirs of Sham and Egypt. After that, the Egyptian Sultan Saif ad-Din Ainul sent an army to retake Tarsus from the Karamanids. The Egyptian Mamluks damaged Konya after defeating the Karamanids, and Mehmet Bey retreated from Konya. Ramazanolu Ali Bey pursued and captured him. According to an agreement between the two leaders, Mehmet Bey was exiled to Egypt for the rest of his life. During the Crusade of Varna against the Ottomans in 1443 44, Karamanid Ibrahim Bey marched on Ankara and Kutaya, destroying both cities. In the meantime, the Ottoman Sultan Murad II was returning from Rumelia with a victory against the Hungarian Crusaders. Like all other Islamic emirates in Anatolia, the Karamanids were accused of treason. Hence, Ibrahim Bey accepted all Ottoman terms. The Karamanid state was eventually terminated by the Ottomans in 1487, as the power of their Mamluk allies was declining. To never again gather and threaten the integrity of the empire, they displaced the entire population to the last man. Some were resettled in various parts of Anatolia. Large groups were accommodated in northern Iran on the territory of present-day Azerbaijan. The main part was brought to the newly conquered territories in northeastern Bulgaria—the Ludogori region, another group—to what is now northern Greece and southern Bulgaria—present-day Karjali region and Macedonia. Ottomans founded Karaman Islet from former territories of Karamanids. Flag. According to Abraham Crescu's Catalan Atlas compiled in 1375, the flag of Karamanolu consisted of a blue six-edged star. In the medieval times, this star was a popular Islamic symbol especially among the Hanafi Madhab known as the Seal of Solomon due to the belief that the Jewish king, King Solomon was a prophet, and was used by several of the Anatolian Beyliks such as the Isfendiarids. As such the seal was also used by Ottomans in their mosque decorations, coins and even in the personal flags of individual pasha e.g. that of Haradine Barbarossa. It adorned the tombs of several early Islamic figures in Medina until the destruction of Al-Baqi Cemetery. Al-Bunni and Ibn Arabi consider the seal to represent the greatest name, and its use remains common in contemporary Muslim esoteric circles. Topic. Power of the Karamanid state in Anatolia According to Masalik ul ebsar written by Sihabuddin Omer, the Karamanid army had 25,000 riders and 25,000 Saracens. They could also rely on some Turkmen tribes and their warriors. Their economic activities depended mostly on control of strategic commercial areas such as Konya, Karaman and the ports of Lamos, Salifka, Anamur, and Manavgat. Karamanid architecture 66 mosques, 8 hammams, 2 caravanserais and 3 medrases built by the Karamanids survive to the present day. Notable examples of Karamanid architecture include Hasbi Medris 1241, Sarafetan Mosque 13th century, Ins Minair Dar al Hadis Medris 1258 to 1279, Petunier Medris Karaman, 
Mevlana Mosque and Tomb in Konya Mater I Mevlana Aktek Mosque in Karaman Ibrahim Bay Mosque in Karaman List of rulers Nur Sufi Bey, capital city, Aragli, twelve fifty to twelve fifty six Karamedan Karaman Bay, capital city, Ermanik, twelve fifty six, minus one thousand two hundred sixty one Semsidin I Mehmed Bey, twelve sixty one to twelve seventy seven, notable for making Turkish official language Gunnery Bay, twelve seventy seven to thirteen hundred Bedreddin Mahmud Bey, thirteen hundred to thirteen o eight Yashi Han Bay, thirteen o eight to thirteen twelve, capital city, Konya Bedreddin I Ibrahim Bey, thirteen twelve to thirteen thirty three, thirteen forty eight to thirteen forty nine Aladin Halil Mirza Bey, thirteen thirty three to thirteen forty eight Faradin Ahmed Bey, thirteen forty nine to thirteen fifty Semsadin Bey, thirteen fifty to thirteen fifty one Hasi Sufi Burhaneddin Musa Bey, capital city, Mut, thirteen fifty one to thirteen sixty one Saifeddin Suleiman Bey, thirteen sixty one to thirteen fifty seven Damad I Aladin Ali Bey, thirteen fifty seven to thirteen ninety eight Sultanzad II Mehmed Bey, thirteen ninety eight to thirteen ninety nine, fourteen oh two to fourteen twenty, fourteen twenty one to fourteen twenty three Damad Bengi Ali Bey, fourteen twenty three to fourteen twenty four Damad II Ibrahim Bey, fourteen twenty four to fourteen sixty four Sultanzad Ishak Bey, fourteen sixty four Sultanzad Per Ahmed Bey, fourteen sixty four to fourteen sixty nine Kazim Bey, fourteen sixty nine to fourteen eighty three Turgatolu Mahmud Bey, fourteen eighty three to fourteen eighty seven Topic. See also Karamanlides Karaman Karaman Province Anatolian Turkish Beyliks List of Sunni Muslim dynasties Karamania Notes and references <laughs>